the topographic wetness index or TWI is a fundamental concept in the field of hydrology and geomorphology used to access and model the spatial distribution of water accumulation and potential wetness within a landscape. It is a valuable tool to understanding the flow of water through different terrains aiding in environmental management, land use planning and natural resources conservation. Calculating TWI is a long process, so I demonstrated it in ArcMap only. Overall, the process will be the same. Watch the full video without skipping for better result. If you want a tutorial on calculating TWI in QGIS, then please comment below. After opening ArcMap, add DEM data. Here I am using Allos Pulsar DEM data, but you can use any kind of DEM data. To know how to download elevation data, check the playlist on the I button. Search field and run the field process on this elevation data. If you want to mask this DEM with a shape file, then you can add that shape file and go to environment. Select processing extent and raster analysis as shape file. Set parallel processing as zero, otherwise field process will be crashed. After filling the voids in DEM, check the projection of this elevation data. Set the projection as UTM projection. If your data has WGS 1984 projection, then reproject it into that UTM zone. Now calculate flow direction, flow accumulation and slope from field DEM. The calculated slope is in degree. We need to change it into radian value. Open raster calculator and write the formula as slope into 1.570796 whole divided by 90. After converting slope value, from degree to radian, now calculate tan of slope. For that, open raster calculator and write con slope greater than 0, comma, tan slope, comma, 0.001. This 0.001 value should be closest to 0. Now calculate the scaled value of flow accumulation. For that, open raster calculator and write flow accumulation plus 1 into cell size. Here the cell size is 12.5. It varies upon different elevation measuring instruments. At last, now it's time to calculate the topographic wetness index. Go to raster calculator and write ln flow accumulation scaled divided by tan slope. After calculating TWI, 
चेंज इट्स कलर इन दी शेड्स ऑफ ब्लू The dark blue areas have the most topographic wetness and light blue areas are mostly topographically dry areas.